I'm Lynn Pfeiffer, wife to my high school sweetheart, mother of three, and creator of the blog, 365 Days of Baking and More. As a home chef, I'm always exploring new ways to cook and prepare food. But today, Best Food Facts has me on a journey to explore CRISPR technology. I met Dr. Barangu at North Carolina State University, where he described CRISPR technology as the most groundbreaking science of our lifetime. There's a very extensive, thorough, maybe even limitless list of targets, medically and clinically, that CRISPR could address. So single gene diseases. We can devise what's called a gene therapy. One of those diseases CRISPR technology could cure is sickle cell. This illness is the focus of Dr. Nazia Tabassum. Sickle cell disease affects approximately 100,000 people in the U.S. It is most common in African Americans, where one in 365 are afflicted. I learned from Dr. Tabassum just how serious this disease can be. Some of the patients um, come in for severe complications like severe pain crisis. Some of these kids can also have severe sickling in their lungs, which we call as acute chest syndrome, uh, which is a medical emergency. While researching this story, I plan to interview a young man named Shakir Cannon. Shakir battled sickle cell disease his entire life and was a passionate advocate for CRISPR technology. He co-founded an organization to bring attention to precision medicine, including CRISPR. One of the main reasons why I'm so excited about CRISPR is because I myself have sickle cell disease. Uh, the median life expectancy now is 42 years of age. I'm currently 34 years old. Unfortunately, time ran out for Shakir. Sadly, he passed away in December of 2017 before I had a chance to interview him for this series. While Shakir is no longer in pain, his efforts to bring attention to CRISPR technology will surely make a difference for others. Animal scientists are also researching CRISPR technology. The swine industry sees it as a way to reduce animal suffering and prevent diseases. Erin Brenneman is a farmer who raises pigs on her family farm in Iowa. So Erin, tell me, this CRISPR technology, how does it relate to pigs and their health? As pig farmers, we're watching the development of this technology too. There's a disease called PERS that CRISPR technology could help cure. It is the most economically and emotionally draining disease for all of those raising pigs in North America, Europe, and Asia. The disease is devastating to pigs. Wow, tell me more about that. The baby pigs are born with low birth weights and they're a lot weaker and harder to start. So even though that pig might survive, it really doesn't thrive. Oh, Erin, that's awful. I know, and that's why we're so encouraged by the impact of the CRISPR technology. While the potential benefits for both human and animal healthcare are significant, my passion is about what goes on in the kitchen. So in our next segment on CRISPR, we'll learn what this technology could mean for food. Until then, I'm Lynn Pfeiffer for Best Food Facts. <laughs>